as we suspended him between heaven and earth on that ignoble tree. And Longinus, as he approaches on the preparation day, thrusts his lands up into that dead heart that once beat for us. And coming forth from that heart, from the temple of his body, the temple being desacralized in the moment of his crucifixion as the curtain is rent from top to bottom, his temple being the new and everlasting temple, his heart is opened and pours forth blood and water. And of course, that blood and water, as John intends us to see, is the life-giving, the life-giving flowing of the sacraments, most especially of baptism and of the Eucharist. But it is also the fulfillment of the prophecy of Isaiah, the prophecy that if we were doing the sprinkling rite during Easter season, we would hear in the beautiful chant of the beating Bachman. Behold, I saw water flowing from the right side of the temple for the cleansing of the temple. His side is open, and water flows forth from the new temple to cleanse all of those who would become living stones in the new temple of his body, his mystical body, that is the church. And that heart, after it had given up its blood, and after it had given up the water of the pericardium around it, was still and dead and laid in a tomb. For three days it gave forth no sound. For three days the world wept and Satan rejoiced. Oh, but brothers and sisters, in the early morning hours with a flash of radiant light that left his image permanently marked in the shroud as though a photo negative, in that moment, by divine spark, that heart began to beat again, again, beating, 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 victorious over death, hell, and the grave, never to be stopped again. That heart beats, that heart beats in love for you and me. That heart beats victorious over every sin. That heart beats victorious over every temptation. That heart beats victorious over every cross that we will ever carry. That heart beats forever in life. That heart beats even at this moment to the sound of my voice in heaven as he's ascended to the Father and as he awaits our return to heavenly glory, our bodies to be like him. And that heart beats that we might learn how our heart can be attenuated to his. The Blessed Virgin Mary, our sure guide, her heart magnifies the Lord. Her heart beats in time to his. And the light of sanctity and holiness is her teaching us, the saints teaching us, the Holy Scriptures teaching us, and the sacraments giving us the divine grace to regulate our heart to be in time to His. And He shows us the symbol of this sacred heart, its wound, the crown of thorns, and the cross, that we might remember what the price of sin is and what the price of redemption is, and that we must make reparation for what we've done wrong. We must make reparation for the times that we've not been attentive to his heart. And it's shown to us blazing in fire because he desires to emblaze our hearts and our life with the very same fire. I've come to baptize you not just with water, but with the Holy Spirit in fire, that your life might so blaze. Wasn't it St. Catherine of Siena, as I shared with our graduating students here and our confirmation students? Wasn't it she who said, Be who God created you to be, your heart beating in time with the Sacred Heart, and you will set the world on fire. That heart beats in love for you and me. And that heart even beats in love for those who this month mock him in disordered behaviors and in those things and deeds repulsive even to the demons, as Catherine has seen us say. Those things which are a mockery of our human nature, those things which are a mockery of love, those things which are a mockery of marriage, his heart even beats in love for them. That their hearts so turned away, so twisted, and so caved in upon themselves might be opened up, might be opened up to receive the fire of God's love and come to know true intimacy, true love, and true joy. 
as we celebrate this great feast, the feast of Mount Carmel, which is the infinite love of God literally beating, beating, beating for us. How well is our heart beating in time 